Good morning, everyone. Today, we are here at Dollar Tree. We're going to go and check some of the items, see if they got some things coming in that they didn't before. We're at a different Dollar Tree this time, so we're going to look around, maybe find some new items, focus mostly on groceries. But I want to check to make sure they're getting in some of their over-the-counter medicines, maybe some of their paper products and stuff like that as well. Let's get to it. As soon as I come into Dollar Tree here, I noticed they have a lot more of their medicine. They must have just gotten a truck because the last time I was at this one was uh, about a month ago. They were pretty much wiped out on all their different medicines here, but a lot of these have since come back in. Got some different, the Value Health Ibuprofen here has come back in. We got the Allergy Relief Aleve right here. They got their different vitamins coming in here. They got their turmeric here, which you don't get much. 15 capsules, $1.25 though. Uh, got some zinc here, 24 tablets of that. Got some probiotic here, 24 capsules. Got some different cough drops here. A lot of the, uh, well, they're all the same price, but a lot of these were missing the last time I was here. And then they have a good amount of stuff, guys. This looks pretty good. I was, it was a little concerning there before. Got this ibuprofen here. This comes with 30 tablets, $1.25. They got some other things. Some different, like, their version of, like, Pedialyte. Stuff like that. Nasal relief. Good to see. This is really good to see. They got a lot more in than they had the last time. They are also pretty loaded down on their toothpaste as well. Got Crest and Colgate all coming back. There was only, if you remember, there was only, like, a couple here. And I know it's been a concern... But yeah, they got a lot of their toothbrushes back in too. This aisle was looking pretty uh, pretty low. Like they didn't have hardly anything in this aisle. Starting to get a lot of this stuff back in. That's good to see. And they got a lot of their deodorants coming back in as well. Some different feminine hygiene products, stuff like that. Different soaps. I, I'm not kidding. They even got their VO5 back. I know somebody was mentioning this, saying that you haven't been able to find uh, your VO5 at Dollar Tree. Looks like ours is getting it back in. We couldn't find it at ours either. They did have this one. I think this Kiwi Lime, somebody mentioned they didn't like that one. Uh, but yeah, it does look like a lot more are coming back in and other shampoos and conditioners here. Yeah. And if you remember, this was pretty empty. All they had was Irish Spring. They didn't have any Dove soaps or Dial. No Dial, they had some of the Yardley the last time we were here. But yeah, it's, you know, you start to wonder if they were gonna even carry this stuff anymore. Someone asked if I knew if Dollar Tree still sold Fago. They do. Um, they're usually pretty low on it, but again, like I haven't seen the Moon Mist here in a long time. I usually see the Sprite version here. But they got the Moon Mist and the orange here. $1.25 for these. I should probably have a count meter for how often I say a dollar twenty-five. I am kind of looking to see if they've done anything for a dollar fifty. Now we've been getting some comments, some rumors going around that some things are going to be going up at Dollar Tree uh, on some things that were normally a dollar twenty-five, maybe going up to a dollar fifty. Haven't heard that around here yet. I will say a balloon that I bought for Valentine's Day was a dollar fifty, but. That was the only thing I noticed. All of these uh, Arizona drinks are still $1.25. They have the Jamex here, uh, different drinks. We get comments on these from time to time. Still, you know what price. Dollar Tree rarely has these, but they do sell these little single drinks of Fiji water here. They are a dollar and a quarter. Uh, Fiji water, it's rare they ever have these in, but I, you know, I know a lot of people always ask about Fiji water. It's gotten really expensive, but $1.25 for one, yeah, I mean, it's still expensive, but cheaper than you're going to find anywhere else. I remember a little while ago, somebody was asking if I knew if Dollar Tree still sold these little drink packets, like Sunkiss and these here. They got Welch's. Yes, they do. Got the Hawaiian Punch right here. I think that's the one you asked about. Uh, and some different ones here. Crushed Watermelons, 7-Up, Jolly Rancher, A&W Root Beer, True Lemon. I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised with our Dollar Tree here. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Got more Del Monte back in here. They got the Neo Star Mandarin Oranges. Some people said they liked those. I don't know. I tried them. I wasn't a big fan. I did like the uh, Island Foods here. Uh, the Island Island Choice. That's it. I tried that one one time. The fruit cocktail. That was pretty good. Dollar twenty-five a can. Can't beat it. They got some of the Margaret Holmes here. They even got some of the Goya products that are coming back in. They got the red beans here. Got the black beans, uh, pinto beans. Yeah, it's good to see. 
Got plenty of the armor sausages here. I don't know if these are still 89 cents. It doesn't say 89 cents on them anymore. They used to have 89 cents right here. So they may be $1.25 now. One good deal. You guys know I love these, the Brunswick uh, tuna salads. Wow, they have one actual. Oh, no, there it is right there. But as I will show, because we get a lot of new viewers that always ask about these, these are made by Bumblebee. So they are the exact same thing, even the exact same size. Three ounces, same thing. And when I say same thing, I mean just everything that's in the box, except for the price. You're going to pay $250 to $259 for the Bumblebee version, but Brunswick, $1.25. Here we've got some smoked oysters coming back in. I know somebody was asking about those the last time I was here. Uh, and a lot of the Bumblebee packets up here, even more than some of the ones we usually see. They got the Sriracha here. And, well, they usually have the pepper and sea salt, but they got the Mediterranean right here. Looks like they're getting in canned sardines and brine there. You know, somebody on the channel will be excited for that. Probably that one more. Cans of sardines there. They've got the Kreider smaller cans there. Uh, the Chunk White Chicken. You know the price. They got the Kitchen Classics here. These are still a dollar, a dollar general. Um, dollar twenty-five for the bigger cans of Campbell's, SpaghettiOs, Chef Boyardee. Oh, look at this loaded back down on the different chow mains they were out of these actually the last couple times i was here uh if we start seeing things go up to a dollar fifty i would assume that this would probably be one of them because we're seeing these for a dollar fifty pretty much everywhere else i've even seen them for as much as a dollar seventy nine so if this was an item to go up i'm pretty sure that would be one of them they have some of this different ramen here uh chicken ramen um i don't see the other ramen noodle pack oh here they are down here yeah, they got the uh, Nissan here, the Top Ramen, which is the one everybody always asks for. Other than white rice, though, they are out. They are out. All they have is the white rice. They are loaded down on the beans, though, which is good to see, too. Remember, these have all shrink-flated to 12 ounces, though. They are no longer 16 ounces, but they are coming in. Oh, I've noticed they've changed the boxes of the Columbia spaghetti here. It's still 25% more, though, right? You get 20 ounces with this. I've had this spaghetti before. You know, it's okay. It's not bad. 20 ounces, so you're getting more more bang for your buck there. I mean, at $1.25, you know, it's good that you get the extra. $1.34 regular price at Kroger for their store brand, uh, and you only get 16 ounces, so... Oh, there's our craft sauce, but they don't have the one we use. This is the original, which is still good, but we use the brown sugar one. They do have that sometimes, but I haven't seen it here in a while. So this right here is kind of what I wanted to focus on. And look at this. They got their Himalayan salt back in here. Got the Himalayan salt. One pound. One pound for you know what price. Got the Kingsford. Different garlic and herbs. Never tried that one, but I've tried other Kingsford spices before. Yeah, I tried this lemon pepper. Wasn't a big fan of that. As a matter of fact, I would take uh, the uh, Supreme Tradition here uh, over that, which I don't see. They doesn't look like they actually have that one. But, yeah, I wanted to focus on some of the different spices. Looks like they're getting more in than they had the last time. Still out of some. But another thing some people have been asking about are the salt and pepper shakers. Yes, they're coming back in here at... Dollar Tree, good to see. Got some of this downtown spicy brown. This is pretty good stuff right here. I actually really like that. And they've got their deli market mustard here, 20 ounces. Can't beat that. Dollar 25. I'll be honest with you, I don't taste the difference between this and French's, but I know some people will argue that. Uh, the only difference I see here is the price. Um, but some of these peanut butters too, like we don't get many good comments on these peanut butters, but I like them. I think they're all right. I did try the honey one. Uh, not too bad. Good to throw in your pantry, you know, just if you're stocking up on some things. Good to have good to have something sealed, right? You got this light mayo. I've never tried this. I don't know about that one. Oh, oh, here we go. Raspberry preserves. I love these. For the price, you can't beat this. Well, it looks like they're getting their big things of lemon juice back in. Somebody asked about this a while ago. I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree in a long time. 17 ounces there. 17 ounces for you know what price. And we got a little small thing of Hunt's right here. Don't know if that's worth it. We may be able to find better deals, bigger sizes somewhere else, but you know, we're just pointing out things. Uh, I've got a lot of bad comments on this fine ripe ketchup here. I've never tried it. Um, why is this one? Looks like this, like, because that's the same thing. And that doesn't look very vine ripe there, does it? That's orange, and all of these are. 
Did they change the sticker or did this sit out in the sun for a while? I don't know, probably just changed the sticker, but I don't know. I mean, they look the same, color looks the same. Huh. Looks like they're getting in a lot more Reynolds wrap too. This was near empty the last time I was here. They had plenty of like the plastic wrap and parchment paper, stuff like that. Um, which actually parchment paper is a little lower than it was, but oh no, yeah, they got some more up there. Lots of Reynolds wrap though, that's good to see. And uh, they're usually pretty always full on these different foil pans and stuff like this. What is this? Everything a dollar. Everything a dollar. Is that a dollar? Uh, I don't know. I tend to think they just did not never change this thing here because I don't think anything here is a dollar. A lot more of the Sure Fresh uh, little sandwich bags and stuff. Good to see. Um, oh, okay. Oh, they spread these out down here. I was going to say they don't have any of these ones like the freezer ones and stuff but they got some of the ziploc ones down here the zipper storage bags they got some of the bigger ones down here big storage bags they also sell hefty you're not going to get as much um but i'd argue that these are just as good as hefty now they're getting their little boxes of hungry jack back in uh make some pancakes got the mother's made apple and cherry pie filling coming back in i remember the last time we were here they had one thing of apple and that was it I got some of this pancake syrup that nobody seems to like. Uh, let's see, we got some baking powder here. I mean, you know, some of these aisles are a little slim, but I gotta say, it's definitely a lot more uh, than what they had the last time. Let's see, we got some of the apple cider vinegar here. There's a little bit of cooking oil down here, baking soda, uh, this little thing of fake honey. <laughs> uh, it's not fake, but it's, I don't know, doesn't seem real either. They got this Kent Caramel Syrup. I know someone was saying they used this on their ice cream and they really liked it. Uh, so that's, I've never tried it, so I don't know. I think somebody said they tried the chocolate syrup and didn't really care for it. I think a big bag of marshmallows here. Some of this stuff I haven't seen here at, at any Dollar Tree in a while. They got a bag of coconut here. Sweetened tropical coconut, haven't seen this. They got organic coconut flour. I have seen this, but haven't seen it here in a while. I uh, haven't seen the Nancy Jane flour either. This is two pounds here. Two pounds for $1.25, and do they have the pound thing of sugar? No. No, they don't. Uh, all they have is the powdered sugar and the light brown sugar. Uh, and it's, I don't know, that must be one that's hard for them to, hard to come in because we've never seen. But I did see one. I saw one regular thing of sugar at the last Dollar Tree we visited. So maybe it's still coming in, maybe just not as much. I've tried a couple of these different oats and cereal bar, these little pastry crisps. And there's a reason why the name brand or why the other brands are more expensive. The, this one was okay. The apple cinnamon was all right. You know, I got through it. I didn't waste it. Uh, they got the uh, Modern Pantry milks here. Let's see one thing of whole milk down there. You know, always check the dates. This is, has a very long shelf life. I know that's why a lot of our viewers like it. Good to see it's still coming in. Now we know a couple months ago, these weren't coming in at all. Uh, we did have one Dollar Tree where I had seen a couple, and we're talking a couple months ago, but we've recently, or as of late, been seeing them come in. Oh, look at that. Haven't seen any of the uh, coffee filters here at Dollar Tree in a while, so that's another item coming in. Somebody was asking about that. Do have the Harry and David coffee here. Harry and David, and they have this one. We actually got a good comment on this. Somebody had said they really liked that. I'm surprised. We finally got a good comment on that. They got the saccharin and the sucralose, different sweetener packets here, 50 packets each, $1.25. Something interesting, I've never seen this at Dollar Tree. Canada Dry Club Soda. Club Soda, they got some of these healthy balance juices down here. And then up here they've got Swiss Miss, six packs for $1.25. I mean, that's not terrible. It's not the cheapest deal, but you'd have to buy in bulk to get a little bit of a cheaper deal. And it comes with the marshmallows. Okay, I know this was everyone's burning question. Do they have toilet paper? They do, and they have their own back end as well, which is good to see that they're even carrying it. Uh, they do have the Scott back end. Uh, they got some of the different rolls here, thousand sheet rolls. They're napkins. Now I will say, this is a lot smaller. This has been very condensed. They could carry some in the back. Um, they have a lot of different tissues in, and here's I'm sure everybody's next question the bleach now we did see 
some toilet paper and bleach at the other Dollar Tree that we visited a couple few weeks ago. But it's good to see that they're getting it back in here as well. I will say it is a smaller section of it. Look at this. They got a huge one here. That is a very big one. For $1.25, that's a lavender, so I don't know if anybody likes that. But yeah, they're getting in a lot more cleaners here. Look at this. This was also low, was their detergents here. Uh, 42 ounces. Oh, I don't know. Help me out. I know that this had shrinkflated originally. Did it shrink again? Wasn't it 52 ounces? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it, it honestly, it looks a little smaller. I'm not really sure. If you know, let me know down in the comments. It does look like the bigger bottles of Fabuloso are no longer a thing here at Dollar Tree. Somebody asked that question. Um, I thought it was kind of weird there for a while. I think they were just getting rid of the bigger ones, but yep. They are the tiny ones. Another good thing here, too, is they are getting in a lot of their candy. Uh, this, now, I will say the other Dollar Tree was um, not as good as this, but at least they had some in. The last time I was here, this was pretty cleaned out. So, yeah, maybe they just weren't getting a truck here for a little while. Look at this. Wow, they got Reese's here. Oh, no. I, I don't know. I don't remember Reese's being here. It's, it's been gone for a long time. I remember these. These little thin ones. But you get like four in there, I guess. Those little Reese's thins. But yeah, I haven't seen any other. Oh, no. Yeah, they. Wow. Yeah, these haven't been in in a while, though. So, yeah, they must be uh, starting to get some of this stuff back in, I guess. I did find some $1.50 items. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Some, I remember someone saying that reading glasses went up to a dollar fifty as well. So maybe just all glasses went up to a dollar fifty, but I don't know. That's the start of it. Oh, they still got these vanilla wafers here. These are really good. These are some of my favorite. I like that they're the bite size. They're really small. Six ounces, dollar twenty-five. I mean for vanilla, they're like four to five dollars for eleven ounce box. So you can spend two fifty, get a twelve ounce size, right? Buy two of them. I think, I'm, uh, my opinion, I actually think these are a little better. And we'll check out some of the $1.25 frozen items. They got their fries here, which I wasn't a big fan of, but we do get good comments on them. Um, and some of the different frozen vegetables here, $1.25, they got a pepper stir fry that we've heard is really good. Some of these Jimmy Dean sandwiches here. It does seem like they have some things I haven't seen here in a while, like some of these Golden Crust Mild Beef Patties here. Uh, Texas Toast, Geo's, got good comments on that. Got the different big burritos here. Big burritos. I got this one right here. The Chimmy. Tina's Chimmy. I wonder if that's any good. Any of this stuff, if, if you like any of this frozen stuff, let us know down in the comments if you like one thing I did not like. I tried one of those fast times. Never tried the ham and cheese. But boy, that burger. I don't know. That was did not taste that good. They sell the single Hot Pockets here for $1.25, which really... I don't know, a two-pack at the store is like $3.19, $3.29 these days. I think it just went up to $3.39 at Kroger. So, I don't know. That's all of a sudden become a good deal, I guess. Got these little Celeste pizzas still. They did not have these the last time I was here. We get good comments on these. Looks like they're coming back in. Got a couple different varieties. And now we enter the more expensive area of Dollar Tree, or the $3 part of Tree. We got different frozen uh, fruits here. Strawberries, tropical blend, berry blend, pineapple blend. We got some big thing of blueberries right here. 20 ounces. 20 ounces for three dollars. That's a good deal. We got this. What is this? See them steak them. That's like a Philly cheese steak, I guess. Six steaks in that little box. What the heck? They must be like that big. Now we go to the four dollar cabinet. We got the three, four, five dollar cabinets. Two. Two five dollar cabinets. In the $4 cabinet, though, we've got some Klondike ice cream bars. That's not a bad deal, really. They got the Stouffer's uh, French bread pizzas here, two or uh, two of them there for $4. We got, what the heck is this one I'm talking about? I'm finding, like, some different things here today. Cheeseburger Castle Bites. White Castle Rolls. Right? White Castle Imitation Pizza Rolls. That is crazy. And I've seen, the, I'm not sure what the price on these are. They have the, the mozzarella sticks here. But they've, they've, we're in the $1.25 one also. They got a two count of the Jimmy Dean sausage things, uh, $4. It's usually right around $8 for a four pack at Kroger, maybe a little less. They got the Tony pizzas here, $4 for these. And they got some of these Mandu like uh, 
pot stickers, dumplings, whatever you like to call them, $4 for those. Now for the $5 items, they have the Red Baron pizzas here for $5. They got some Tyson honey chicken tenders there. Got some shrimp. Wow, that's weird. Raw shrimp here, $5 for those. They got the Gordon's Fish Sticks, $5. Uh, Rally's Fries. Uh, those are small bags. I don't know if that's worth it, but here we got some kind of duo like chicken parmesan and chicken alfredo, meatloaf, and country fried chicken. That's kind of interesting. Like if you can't agree with something that you and your wife want to have for dinner, or you and your husband, maybe you can agree on two different things. Never seen anything like that before. They got the taquitos here, five dollars for those. And in the last five dollar area here, these are interesting right here. These Reese ice cream bars right there. I might try those at some point and they've got the magnum which actually you only get three of them but those are expensive those are expensive everywhere they get the carb smart briars here and ben and jerry's five dollars they had a sale at kroger on this buy one get one free i don't know if that sale's still going on but they got the briars like half gallon ice cream here all of these five dollars so if you've been watching our channel for a while one to point out these have come back and these are our favorite uh, dishwashing sponges here this is a four or five six pack six pack guys this is where it's at i mean these last forever even though we have a couple packs i'm still going to buy another one or two because these sell out so quick and i haven't seen these at dollar tree in like a month maybe longer so these are the ones i was talking about well that was our trip to dollar tree today glad to see that a lot of items are coming back in seems like they're starting to come in all dollar trees around here so that's pretty awesome uh, you know, it could be where things just take a while to come back in. We've seen that with a lot of stores. Glad to see that they're still selling the toilet paper and bleach, though. I was a little concerned after the few Dollar Trees that we went to, and it was it was out pretty much everywhere. But I got to say, Dollar Tree is awesome. So many great employees in here. Very nice. Very welcoming. Uh, met a fan in there today. Nice to meet you. Uh, and it was, uh, it, it was really good. It was good to see a lot of the different food products and stuff like that coming in as well because as a lot of these dollar trees have been empty around the country uh as what we've heard from a lot of our viewers uh so good to see that items are coming back in still great prices at a dollar 25 some things you know it's like if you buy in bulk sure you're going to save a little bit in the long run but if you're on a tight budget if you're shopping and even if you're not on a tight budget dollar tree is awesome i love dollar tree you can find a lot of things here uh, other than just food. I mean, there's just all kinds of good things going on here. Uh, and yes, you can still buy a card for less than a dollar. So that is good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out.